It's time for English on the Go, which means we're going to look at Serena's full clip that she sent to us where she talks about the best form of transportation, which we know now. She talks about airplanes and she talks about how much she loves traveling and where she actually was during this clip. How about we take a look at it? Are you ready? Go! I have traveled quite a lot since I started to um, study abroad and lately I've come to appreciate more and more not only my destinations but also my favorite form of transportation, airplanes. My last weekend I have spent in Kiev for a big international sports event. Thousands of people from all around the world have traveled there in a matter of just a few hours. This would have been unimaginable in another era. I think logistically seen it's quite an impressive work people in the aircraft business do to bring those masses of people safely from point A to point B. I think air, airplanes and aircrafts are the number one in opening new horizons, both literally because of the high altitudes and symbolically because of the broad variety of cultures you get to experience. 네, 이야기 잘 들어보셨죠? 핵심 단어들부터 보고 공부 이어갈게요. 첫 번째, 감사하게 생각하다, appreciate 나왔고요. 상상조차 할수 없는, unimaginable, 그리고 실행면에서라는, logistically라는 말이 나왔어요. 발음 연습부터 하겠습니다. Let's practice our pronunciation starting with the first one, which is appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. Unimaginable, unimaginable, unimaginable. Logistically, logistically, logistically. Perfect. How about we take a look at some more vocabulary words? 그 다음으로는 지평선, 땅이라면 지평선, 물이라면 수평선이라고 하잖아요. 영어는 horizon이라고 합니다. horizon. 그리고 고도, altitude. 마지막으로 상징적으로 symbolically 라고 하는 단어들 쓰였습니다. 발음 연습해보죠. Horizon, 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 altitude, 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 symbolically, symbolically, symbolically. Perfect, we've gone over the vocabulary words, so let's take a look at Serena's clip once again, but with English subtitles. I have traveled quite a lot since I started to um, study abroad, and lately I've come to appreciate more and more not only my destinations, but also my favorite form of transportation, airplanes. My last weekend I have spent in Kiev for a big international sports event. Thousands of people from all around the world have traveled there in a matter of just a few hours. This would have been unimaginable in another era. I think logistically seen it's quite an impressive work people in the aircraft business do to bring those masses of people safely from point A to point B. I think air, airplanes and aircrafts are the number one in opening new horizons, both literally because of the high altitudes and symbolically because of the broad variety of cultures you get to experience. Wow, there are a lot of words and a lot of expressions we can teach you through Serena's clip. I'm really excited to move right into it. So how about we start right away with going over everything she said line by line? Okay, 첫 부분부터 바로 보겠습니다. I have traveled quite a lot since I started to um, study abroad. And lately I've come to appreciate more and more not only my destinations, but also my favorite form of transportation, airplanes. I have traveled quite a lot since I started to study abroad. I have traveled quite a lot. I traveled quite a lot 하면은 그냥 단순 과거로 mm -hmm. 여행을 많이 했습니다 인데요. Yeah. I have 해왔다는 거죠. Mm -hmm. 여, 여행 꽤 많이 했어요. Since I started to study abroad. Mm -hmm. 유, 해외 유학을 하기 시작하면서 여행을 많이 했다라는 mm -hmm. 말은 어, 해외 유학 가기 위해 간 것도 travel이고 
Yes. 네, 그리고 and then, since she's abroad, she probably goes back to her home country back and forth. 그렇죠. 자신의 나라에 돌아가는 것도 트래블이지만 그 yeah. 근처 나라를 가는 거, 그 나라 안에서 돌아다니는 거다 트래블이죠. Mm-hmm. 자, 그리고 그 다음 문장. And lately, I've come to appreciate more and more not only my destinations. 어떤 것에 대해서 감사하게 생각하다. Appreciate. Appreciate. Appreciate를 하는데 어, 그. Not only 한 다음에 이것뿐만이 아니라 또 다른 것도 appreciate 하게 되었습니다 라고 yes. 이야기해요. 그런데 그 앞부분에 그 not only 뒤에 하나만 나오고 있는데 목적지를 영어로 destination, destination, destination. 그래서 도착지가 될 수도 있겠고 목적지가 mm-hmm. 될 수도 있겠습니다. 그래서 mm-hmm. 그 안내방송 같은 거 버스나 기차나 그런 곳에 안내방송에 destination 많이 나오죠. 목적지. Yeah, you hear destination a lot yeah. because you know. The destination. People are going somewhere. Yeah. So when you they like announcements, they go like uh, when you arrive at your, your destination. destination. 도착하면, Please do this. Yeah. 이렇게 하세요. 나옵니다. And lately, I've come to appreciate more and more. 더 감사하게 되었는데, not only my destinations. Uh-huh. 제가 가는 목적지들 여행 가면 즐거우니까 멋지니까 감사하게 생각하죠. Yeah. 근데 거기뿐만이 아니라 There's more that she appreciates which she says next, but also my favorite form of transportation. Airplanes. 그것뿐만이 아니라 또 also 제가 제일 좋아하는 my favorite form of transportation in airplanes에 대해서도 yeah. 감사하게 생각을 하게 되었습니다. Mm-hmm. 어, 교통 수단이라고 할때 form of transportation도 가능하고요. Mm-hmm. Mode. No. Uh. You're going to say that, right? Yeah. I always beat you to it. You, how do you always beat me to it? <웃음> mode of transportation. 네. I read your mind. Mm-hmm. 네. 그래서 mode of transportation, 그게 가장 많이 쓰이죠? Yeah. Yeah. Just type of transportation, form of transportation, oh. mode of transportation. Type도 나오네요, type. Yeah, type. Type of transportation. Mode. Mode, 그 다음에 form까지 form. 쓸수 있습니다. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. My last weekend I have spent in Kiev for a big international sports event. Thousands of people from all around the world have traveled there in a matter of just a few hours. This would have been unimaginable in another era. My last weekend I have spent in Kiev for a big international sports event. My last weekend, 저의 마지막 주말이라고 하시면 안 되겠고요. My previous previous or past weekend past weekend 다 mm-hmm. 가능합니다. 지난 주말은 저는 I have spent 그러니까 지금 바뀌었어요. 순서가. 그렇게 가끔 쓰기도 해요. Yeah. yeah so a, instead of saying I have spent my last weekend yeah, in Kiev. It's a matter of style. Yeah, it depends on style. 네, 문체 어, 문제입니다. 그래서 I have spent in Kiev. Mm-hmm. Kiev는 우크라이나의 도시 그 수도예요. Okay, it's 네. the capital of the Ukraine. Yes. 어, 그래서 우크라이나 키예브에서 지난 주말을 보냈는데 왜 거기를 갔냐면 for a big international, international sports event. event 국제 스포츠 행사를 보느라고 hmm. 보러 어, 가느라고 거기에서 보냈고요. Mm-hmm. So what else does she have to say? Thousands of people from all around the world have traveled there in a matter of just a few hours. Thousands of people, mm-hmm. 수천 명, 사실 수천 명 이상이었을 것 같은데 yeah. 네, 그냥 많은 숫자를 말할 때 이렇게 정확하게 뭐 Tens of thousands of people, yeah. 뭐 이렇게 안 하고 그냥 thousands yeah. of people. Yeah, it's always hundreds, thousands, or millions. millions. We don't need to be specific, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of people. Yeah, 그래서 수천 명의 사람들이 그런데 어디로부터 온 from all around the world, mm-hmm. 전 세계 곳곳에서. 저는 영어 배울 때 all around the world 하고 all over the world 둘다 발음이 좀 어려웠던 기억이 나요. Mm, really? Yeah. All around the world. All around the world. All over the world. All over the world. 천천히 했다가 조금씩 빠르게 하면 됩니다. Right. Uh, have traveled there in a matter of just a few hours. Mm. 전 세계 곳곳에서 수천 명의 사람들이 몇 시간 만에 그곳으로 이동을 해봤어요. Mm. That's amazing. It's a miracle. That's true. Yeah. We don't think about it. We take it for granted yeah. sometimes. Even a right? hundred years ago, it w- would have been impossible. That's right. Mm. And she said something like that next. Okay. okay. Next, she says... This would have been unimaginable in another era. 네, era라는 거는 시절, 시대를 말하고요. Mm-hmm. 자, 상상도 할수 없는 unimaginable, 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 mm-hmm. imaginable 상상할 수 있는 yeah. unimaginable. unimaginable 상상할 수 없는 yeah. 
이것은 다른 시절이었다면 상상할 수 없는 일이었을 거예요. Yeah. This would have been this. Yeah. 네. is unimaginable 아니고 만약 다른 would 시절에서 have been. 우리가 살았더라면. Yes. Okay. Let's see what she says next. I think logistically seen, it's quite an impressive work people in the aircraft business do to bring those masses of people safely from point A to point B. I think logistically seen, it's quite an impressive work people in the aircraft business do. 자, 첫 번째 단어, 실행 면에서. Logistically. Logistically. 사전에 따라서 어떤 사전은 logistically라는 단어를 안 보여줄 수도 있어요. 이제 그렇지만 이제 뭐와 관련된 단어냐면 logistics. Mm, right, you'll see logistics. Logistics는 이제 스펠링이 이제 logistically에서 a l l y를 빼고 그냥 mm -hmm. s, s 붙이면 됩니다. Mm -hmm. 실행 방법을 뜻해요. Mm. 어, 다 좋은 계획을 세워놓고 logistics를 논의해 보자 이렇게 말하면 mm -hmm. 그래서 이걸 실제로 어떻게 행동에 옮길 것인지. Yeah. It's like so we have this idea, but what about the logistics? Yes. How are we going to do it? 맞아요. Do we need that? 음. Do we do this? 그렇죠. Right. 아니면 메건 선생님이 미국 여행을 하러 간 사이에 제가 okay. 미국을 또 갔어요. 그래서 okay. 우리 가족들끼리 만나서 뭐 중간에 만날까? So what about the logistics yeah, of like, doing that? How are we going to do it? 어떻게 are, 만나? Is, is your family going to come to my stage? Yeah. Should I come to yours? Like, yeah. I don't know. 어떤 <웃음> 계획을 짜는 거, 실제로 uh -huh. 실행에 옮기려면 좀 현실적인 방안이 필요하거나 문제점이 보일 때가 있거든요. 그게 다 logistics인데 logistically라는 <웃음> 응용 표현이 있습니다. Yes. 실행 면에서 그래서 봤을 때, 그런 면에서 봤을 때 logistically seen, it's quite an impressive work people mm -hmm. in the aircraft business do. Yes. 항공기? Aircraft. Aircraft. 네. 항공기, 즉 항공 사업에 종사하는 사람들이 정말 대단한 일을 하고 있는 거예요. For sure. 라는 문장이고요. So what do they do? It's impressive, she says, to bring those masses of people safely from point A to point B. From point A to point B라는 거는 한 지점에서 다른 지점으로 yes. 아직 빈칸으로 남겨놓은 거 아니고 이런 표현이 있어요. Yeah. <웃음> 어, to bring those masses of people. Mass라는 건 많은 수의 사람, 대중을 말합니다. 네, 그래서 그렇게 많은 수의 사람들을 한 지점에서 다른 지점으로 안전하게 데려오기 위해서 어, 대단한 일을 하고 있는 거예요. Mm, I think so as well. Let's take a look at the last part. I think air, airplanes and aircrafts are the number one in opening new horizons, both literally because of the high altitudes and symbolically because of the broad variety of cultures you get to experience. I think airplanes and aircrafts are the number one in opening new horizons. 제 생각에 어, airplanes 그리고 mm -hmm. aircrafts는 두 가지를 지금 분리를 하면서 mm -hmm. are the number one 첫 번째 1등인 것 같습니다. Mm -hmm. 최고인 것 같습니다. in 뭐뭐 면에서 opening new, new horizons. horizon. 네. horizon 하면 지평선 수평선인데요. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 그래서 그 가로로 수, 세로로 말고 가로로라고 할때 mm -hmm. horizontally 네, horizontal 또는 horizontally yes. 형용사 부사입니다. 그래서 T A L 붙이거나 T A L L Y 붙이는데 mm -hmm. 수평선 지평선을 여는데 새로운 지평선을 여는데 있어서 최고인 것 같습니다라고 했고요. Mm -hmm. 제가 airplanes하고 aircrafts를 그냥 영어로만 말했는데 그 이유는 어, 같은 거예요. 기본적으로는 yeah. 그렇지만 aircrafts 가 oh, 조금 더 넓어요. Yeah, it's more general. So an airplane is just an airplane, but an aircraft, there are many types of aircraft. Like helicopters. Oh yeah, helicopters are aircraft. Yeah. Anything that flies, you know, there are jets, mm -hmm. which we don't take, you know, commercially most of the time. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things jet? that fly. Okay. I don't have a jet. You have one? Can I borrow it? No, I, I don't. I want to go to Bali. I, I don't. Oh. So, <laughs> aircraft is... 헬리콥터도 포함이 되고 yeah. 여러 가지 종류의 나는 것들이 포함이 되는데 에어플레인은 우리가 말하는 대로 그냥 yes. 비행기 나게 mm -hmm. 이렇게 우리가 아는 모양으로 달린 거죠. Mm -hmm. 그래서 She says next. Mm -hmm. Both literally because of the high altitudes. 네. 그래서 <웃음> both because and because because mm -hmm. 이유 두 개를 말합니다. 어, literally 말 그대로 문자 그대로 high altitudes yeah. 높이 날기 때문에 새로운 지평선이 계속 열리죠. 우리가 땅에서 보는 것보다. Yeah. 네, 고도가 altitude. Altitude, mm. altitude. And then? And symbolically, because of the broad variety of cultures you get to experience. 
그리고 상징적으로도 symbolically. 네. symbolically. 상징적으로도 새로운 지평을 여는 데 최고인데요. Mm-hmm. 왜냐하면 어, 뭐 때문이냐면 the broad variety, 넓은 다양성 mm-hmm. of, cultures, of cultures you get to experience. Mm-hmm. 비행기 타고 가면 폭넓은 문화들을 경험하게 되기 때문에 상징적으로도 yeah. 새로운 지평을 열어준다는 이야기네요. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, that was the end of our clip. I hope you guys learned a lot from it. We're still going to look at it one more time. I have traveled quite a lot since I started to um, study abroad. And lately I've come to appreciate more and more not only my destinations, but also my favorite form of transportation, airplanes. My last weekend I have spent in Kiev for a big international sports event. Thousands of people from all around the world have traveled there in a matter of just a few hours. This would have been unimaginable in another era. I think logistically seen it's quite an impressive work people in the aircraft business do to bring those masses of people safely from point A to point B. I think airplanes and aircrafts are the number one in opening new horizons, both literally because of the high altitudes and symbolically because of the broad variety of cultures you get to experience.